Hey guys, so today um, I'm showing you guys a tutorial on how to use Video Star 6.4. Um, yeah, that's basically what this video is. It's going to be like a how to and explaining the effects. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching. So, what I'm going to be explaining first is the mirror expand image. So, as you can tell, it did nothing here, but if you were to zoom out, you can tell that it's sort of like the mirror house effect. So, yeah, it does stop eventually, and you can also move it this way, or you can also go something like this, so it would be really cool if you don't want to, like, lose the quality of your video, if this is, like, the good way to go. And this effect is also good for the cool transition that people always try to do but get frustrated on if it's too hard or something. So that little thing. And just in case you don't know how to do it, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So what you're going to want to do for this effect is you want to go to multi-layer, set the back as anything, it does not matter, and then press the front as the last frame. Now you're just going to press next, you know, all that stuff that you do. And then you're going to press mirror expand image, and obviously it does this again. So what you're going to want to do is this is the transition. So you're going to want to like tap however many times, it depends on how long your video is. This is just like a quick how-to basically. So what you're going to do, I just tap three times, and I'm going to zoom out to about like here is good. And then I'm going to tap the rotation turn the rotation to zero so that way when you tap three times again or however many the video will not start zooming until this point in this point this point in this point in case you don't know that yet anyway the clip will now look like this and I'm actually gonna change this a little bit because I feel like it goes a little bit too fast so I'm just gonna put it here 25 and then you can go ahead and press create so now that you have what you just did, what you want to do is press the back as the clip that you just made, just so you can see a guideline. And then for the photo, just not photo, for the um, front clip, just pick your clip that is in this clip. So it's the one that you just made, and then the clip that is the actual scene. And this might get a little bit confusing, but I don't think it's that confusing. You're going to want to press the mirror expand image again, and then you're going to want to turn the opacity down so then you can see the first clip you did go until you are here and then you're gonna make this so it's zero tap once turn the opacity up so then it's this clip something like this let me show you what it does so then right after that last second it'll go to this clip so what you're gonna want to do first make sure that you have the mirror expand image on zoom out and then you're going to want to go the opposite way that you rotated before. So now you just want to turn the clip the opposite way that you did before. So I'm going to be turning it this way. So it's the opposite of the other one that you did before. And then you're just going to want to go all the way to the end or wherever and just turn this back to zero. So then your clip should look like this. Also zoom in at the very end. 100. Okay, so now your clip should look like this. Now, of course, it doesn't look the best. I'm just trying to show you guys the outline of what you do to this effect. And now you can just create image and all that fun stuff. So now that you have that clip, what you're going to want to do is press new and re-effect and go to the new um, motion blur effect that they have, the zoom blur. Also, you can tap wherever you want to have the focal point. I'm just gonna have it in the middle and make sure this is one, two, like half time, so you have more time to do this effect, and I'm gonna show you what to do next. So basically, you're just going to use the zoom as you're moving. I'm gonna make sure that the focal point is right in the middle, and now go like this. So now your finished clip will look like this, or something like that. So next, I'm going to be discussing the new particle labs in the running man tab basically what this is is a create your own particles so basically it's you're making your own of these things you can customize them and it's very customizable it's actually really nice if you tap on this one it will just stand still and this one you can actually move around 
Now, when you tap on this, you're gonna probably be like, whoa, what is this? This looks like very scientific stuff. Well, it's not that difficult. I'm going to be discussing all of these. So the emit rate is in the middle. There's a little thing. And as you get bigger, this will get bigger. The emit rate is just like how much you want the particles to expand and come out. The lifespan is how lo like large you want these to actually expand. So you can have them all the way out here or just have them in a tiny little ball. <laughs> I personally prefer them just around here. Next, you can follow source, which will, um, when you're moving the thing, the ball in the middle will be following it. I'll show you that later. The point, you can have it a horizontal line, a vertical line, or something like this. Whatever you want, really. It's just whatever type of video you're making. I personally like it, just the point. Now the horizontal offset is whatever you want this thing to move. You can have it here, here, honestly, wherever you want in the video. Since this um, one is the one that won't move, you can kind of just kind of choose wherever you want it to be. Vertical offset, same thing, you get the idea. Speed, just how fast, you know, speed. <laughs> speed variation, direction, direction variation. You can just kind of move this along, you can be like a meteor or whatever. Emitter spin. This will just cause it to spin. Velocity damping just kind of makes it have like a middle, if that makes sense, just kind of like something like that. It's kind of hard to explain, but you can probably see it. Gravity. This will make this fall either that way or just have it nothing. Gravity direction is exactly what it sounds like. You can choose where the little tail flies. <laughs> it looks kind of creepy. And this appearance, you can change the appearance. This is where it gets very customizable. You can choose the size of that little thing so it looks like a big sun or just a little tiny dot like a firework. I like it around here, in my opinion. You can have it like whatever you want, literally. Size variation just kind of makes the size a little bit different. And these will only work if you enable mid. This is sort of the little middle thing. You can change the size of it. Then it looks like a sun again. The mid position, you can just kind of choose the position it's in. Kind of looks like some type of scientific germ. And the end size, just like the end of the particle. And here's where it gets fun. You can choose the color. Yay. <laughs> I like the colors when they're near the white and also the other colors. I think it looks really cool. And then the image, we all love these things, um, really. You can choose anything really. It's, it's really customizable and I really love that. You can choose this. That looks really cool. You can choose just the normal. You can choose this. Anything really. It's all customizable. It's all your own thing. And this, you can just change the color of the middle. And you can choose this. You can make it like sort of transparent-y. Um, end color. Just the end of the particle animation. Why is this green? I don't know, but it's annoying me. Okay, here we go. So now it's this really cool purpley little firework thingy. And also this, I really love this. So let's say you have it as nothing, but if you want the speed, let's say when you click done, this slider will go off of speed. Or let's say you want this to go off of size, this will just go off of size. It's really cool. I just really love how customizable this is. We're like, I love, I can't wait to see how everyone uses this individually in their own like way and I can't wait to see all that, it's going to be really exciting. Lastly is the QR images which I think almost a lot of people know how to use those by now since Videostar kind of explained it but I'm just going to show you anyway. So let's say you're in the particle lab and you just made the coolest effect ever, you made the coolest particles, you want to share it with all your friends and then you remember that it's customizable so it would be hard for them to make the same ones. Well, with the new like QR thing, you don't have, really have to worry about that. You can just send it to your friends and they can use it too. You would just open up the particle lab, press this, share, and then it will let you name it. So you can just name it like, cool particle. I don't know. And then if you press share, you'd be able to share it through iMessage, your camera roll, anything. But let's say your friends sent you a photo and you want to use it as your sparkles. All you'd have to do is press this, and instead of pressing share, you'd press import. And basically importing 
what, whatever you have here, will, it will redo that. So if you really love what you're making, don't import something and, unless you want to get rid of this. But if you import one, whatever you just made will be gone. You search to your camera roll, find the sparkles that your friend sent you, press yes you want to use it, and then you would have it. It would be cool. It's really cool. It's really fun and I think all of you guys are going to have so much fun with this. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know how to do it. So I haven't done a tutorial in a long time, so I thought I'd do one for 6.4. So now that it's out, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with it. And yeah, I think Video Star is going to be very happy with your responses. So make sure that you give good responses because it's amazing. The update is so good. So I can't wait to see how everyone uses it. So yeah, if you guys want more tutorials, then just let me know what you want them on and I'll do them. Love you guys. Bye.